Walker Bueller, eight scoreless starts in a row with at least five strikeouts. Murphy pops it up to the left in foul territory. A long run for Taylor who makes the catch. Chris Taylor with the shift on was way towards second base. It was popped into foul territory near the third base coaching box. A long run for Taylor. Murphy's retired first out of the second. Here's Mancia's first opportunity to extend his to 30. And on this 1-0 from Marquez, he pulls it into right and does just that. Like clockwork. Max Muncy, leadoff base hit. Here's a bitch. And it'll looper toward the shortstop grab by Rogers. Fires back to first base. And the ball got away from Murphy. It hits the facing of the dugout, comes right back. But I think they're going to give Muncy second base. You know how Murphy missed that ball. It just went right off his glove. Otherwise, the Rockies have an easy double play. Muncy was way off first base. It caught a piece of Max Muncy. Yep. It did. That It changed directions. Muncy going back to the bag changed his direction and he walked on he came back he was on the grass he anticipated where Brendan was going to throw that ball and Bud Black is talking to the home plate umpire Chad Fairchild I think from the Rockies perspective he threw up his arms as well and that might be another reason although it hit him in the back they're going to give him third base so he's at third with one out and up comes Chris Taylor Swings away at the first pitch and lofts it towards the right field corner. Charlie Blackman to make the catch, but that is plenty deep enough to bring home Max Muncy, and they promptly take advantage of the two-base throwing off. Sack fly for Taylor. They catch a break, and they uh, just very smart hitting because Chris Taylor, although it was the first pitch who was thrown to him, he got a great pitch in order to keep the ball off the ground. Just three for 16 now against Bueller. And Nolan drives it to left. Did he get enough of it in the heavy air? BD at the wall. Can't get it. It bounces into the stands. Gone. Touch him all time for Nolan Arenado. Their first hit goes yard. And the game is tied. Here's Bellinger, who is two of 18 against Marquez Lifetime. And a fly ball to center field. It's way back. It's on its way. And it's gone. A home run. Cody Bellinger's 25th home run has given the Dodgers a two to one lead over the wall and straight away center on the way to grandma's house. From a year ago and now ball one, no strike one on Muncy. And he's letting Dave Roberts know and somebody just got thrown out of the game. I hope it's not Justin Turner. And Dave Roberts coming over here to explain the voices. How can you discern who yelled that at you and then throw somebody out and I think it is Turner I think you're right and they only have three bench players tonight oh no, they're up to four now with Beatty being called up we've seen some really good restraint from umpires this season with some pretty strong arguments coming from both sides that is the opposite end of that spectrum and yeah, now Fairchild gonna wait until Turner vacates the dugout. Justin still can't believe that it's him. And that's what you should do if you're the player. Stay there and make him re-identify you. And Justin's even gonna be madder when he goes in and sees it on TV and how liberal the strike call it was that it wasn't over the plate. And yeah, Bueller's going right through him like a warm knife through butter. Strike. That one doesn't need a called strike. He gets a swing and a miss from Walters. Nine Ks for Bueller. No balls, two strikes, one out. Now the pitch to Marquez. Swung on and missed strike three. The tenth strikeout of the game for Bueller. Back to top of the order, Charlie Blackman. Charlie has struck out and fouled out against Bueller. 1-1 one, one pitch to Blackman. Charlie pulls that down the right field line. Did he get enough of this one? On the run is Bellinger. It is gone. It shortens up pretty quickly down the right field line. That's where Charlie pulled the ball. The Rockies have the ball game tied up again. Solo home run for Charlie Blackman. We are tied at two. As a 96 mile an hour fastball that he turned on. Rockies have two hits. They have both been home runs. Walker knew coming into this game that they needed length. And when you know that as a starting pitcher, the best way is not to conserve energy. The way to get deep into a game is to get quick outs and be aggressive. He gets Arnado and has matched his season high with 11 Ks. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Now here's the pitch. Went around, tried to check his swing. He's been struck out, and even dozen strikeouts 
for Walker Bueller. Matching a career high, 2-2 game. Here's an 0-2. Got him swinging. A new career high for Walker Bueller. 13 Ks against the top offense in the National League. Take it any way you can. And you know what? When you're going around the batting order a few times, you've got to have multiple ways to get him out. And Walker Bueller sure does have that. Ramil Tapia is going to pinch hit. He got him with a fastball that hits 98 with his 100 second pitch tonight. Breaking ball that he offered at, and 15 strikeouts for Walker Bueller. He struck him out. 16 Ks from Bueller. Go to the bottom of the ninth. The Rockies and Dodgers are tied at two. Beatty coming up, and he is one for three. One and zero oh to Beatty. Fly ball, center field. Well hit. On its way, and at the wall, it's gone! A walk-off home run from Matt Beatty! His second career home run is a walk-off winner!